All right, so check out this situation I got on this Subaru. So I've got, um, I'm just doing brake pads, you know, I'm test fitting. I already did the other side. I know it's not going to fit. So here's the old pad. Here's the new pad. These are Akabona, Akabona OEM style ceramic. These are good pads. Um, but if you notice, just as a test fit, you know, I didn't clean and grease anything. There is nothing, there's nothing at all that I can do to get this pad to fit. I tried and tried and tried and tried. So watch this old pad. And here's what the, here's the part number right here. They are an ACT 1004. So here's the old pad. You can see it's rusty. It's a little bit of a tight fit because it's, you know, I haven't cleaned any of the goop off of it, but that this pad will fit. So it, it would appear that the pads are incorrect. Let me show you what the, I'm imagining that this, this may be like a, you know, a mismachined set or whatever, but in case it's really common, I'm going to share my experience. So if I hold these side to side, back to back, they look pretty, pretty close. I mean, they look real close. But this is where they're different. If I lay this pad down and then I set this pad right here, I can look at this dimension. So I get myself in a good position here. But if I line up this part right here, okay, I got those pretty close. Camera's not going to focus. Look at how much bigger the black, non rusted, brand new pad is. It's just, it's that, that dimension there is, is not correct. Probably line these up a little bit better. I, I'm going to say just by eye, it's like about an eighth of an inch. That's, that's never going to fit. There's nothing I'm going to do to make that fit. Banging, hammering, whatever. So here's what I'm doing. I already did it on the other side. I know it'll work. So um, check this out. She loves garbage. So here's my little workstation. So literally, I just, I'm wrapping it in the paper towel. I got the clean side of the paper towel in, so that way I'm not contaminating it with grease. And I'm just gonna go through with a file. You know, if you use a, gr a grinder would work and it'd be fast. But if you, if you grind it too much, it's gonna be loose in the caliper bracket. So just with a file, kind of set up backwards from normal with the camera. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to grind, I'm going to file an equal amount off from each side. And the way I'm telling that the file is straight is I'm watching the paint and I'm making sure that the paint is, you know, kind of coming off evenly. So I need to actually angle the file a little bit more towards this corner. And I'm just going to file it nice and straight visually. Um, and it, it's a little slow. And it's gonna work. So I'm gonna continue filing. When I'm done, I'll show you. All right, so I've got an amount of material off there that I think may be approximately correct. So I gotta flip the pad. I would not modify the bracket because I, I really think that the issue is that these are, um, just a bad form batch off the assembly line or whatever the factory that makes them. So this one I'm gonna roll so you can see how, how much I really take off. It's not all that much, depending on your particular file. Make sense to leave them a little, a little tight, a little, a little fat kind of, and then uh, recheck in a minute. So I'm sure that I'm close right there. So here's what I'm gonna do: loosen it, and once again, open up the paper towel, and I'm gonna lay them together. And I've got to go more for sure. But it's, you know what, actually, it's pretty darn close. 
So I'm going to uh, I'm going to pause on this one, and I'm going to load up my other one. So obviously, if you're doing this is rear brakes on a 2017, I believe, Subaru Forester. And you know, this is not a lesson about how to uh, lubricate the slides and what lube to use and how to resurface the rotors or replace the rotors. I'm just talking about a brake pad modification. My option is do this, or this is a neighbor and I've already parked my truck at his house. And so I don't have wheels to run back down to Napa or O'Reilly's or Advanced Auto Parts or the get in the zone. So I would have to put this back together and go down there. And I already know, I looked on the internet, it said that part number would fit. So they're going to say, oh, these are fine. And then I'll say, well, give me a different brand. And they'll give me a different brand. And maybe those will be perfect. But that, where I live, look. Auto parts store is a half hour that way. So I probably wouldn't say this is the fix for everybody, but just to get you, maybe there's, maybe you ordered them online and it's too much trouble to ship them back or whatever. This is gonna be totally safe, modified. So the liability would be on you if anything did go wrong. Not on me, by the way, but this is, this is one way to do it. So I'm gonna knock this last one out and then we'll go fit them. All right, so I'm just walking over here. I have not test fit them yet. I went probably a little conservative on the filing. So if anything, they're still going to be a little bit tight. And you know what? I think, I think they'll make it. It's going to be a little tight again because of the, the rust and the goop and the you know, crap I haven't cleaned up yet. So I'm test fitting them. Then I'm going to pull it all apart, brake clean everything down. My Greasy fingerprints or whatever will all be clean. So that front one is a yes. The rear one is just, mm, I think it's just gonna be just a hair tight. So, which is no big deal. You see the prop, no, it did, it will, it will take. It's a real tight fit, but it will take. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and just do a little more um, cleanup on these because they do need to move easily see like even this outer one it's you know it takes too much effort to release it and the way the system works it'll squeeze that caliper will make 600 psi or probably quite a bit more it'll probably be 600 psi in the line and that piston is a two inch to a one inch master it'll be probably be 1200 pounds of squeezing force here if you stomp the pedal um, but then when you release the pedal the only thing retracting the caliper is the is how the o-ring is deformed the square cut o-ring in the caliper so there's literally like very little to no release force so if they're too tight they're going to bind and they're going to end up dragging on the rotor their entire life and they'll probably wear out in no time it'll be premature brake pad wear so i got to do a, a little better fitment and quite a bit of you know clean up on these clips this this kit didn't come with the clips you know and, and i thought i was thinking about it akabono's very high quality stuff, but I was thinking the the box, which you can see it's more hammered than it was. The box is all busted up. It wasn't sealed. For all I know, these may actually not be the Akabono. Someone may have switched them out and chucked them back in the box. So I can't guarantee, but I'm sharing my experience. So hopefully, maybe, possibly, it helps someone working on one of these.